All right, let's say you're doing Wind Waker randomizer and this, you don't find the small key after clearing this room. Odds are you're gonna wanna do basement skip, especially if you don't have boomerang, which you will probably be in that situation a handful of times. So I'm gonna show you how I do basement skip in Forbidden Woods. So what you're gonna wanna do is get storage off this ledge. I haven't practiced this enough, to be honest. There we go. And then you're immediately going to run back to the door um, with the two chests in it, in the maze. Store that door, and then what's going to happen is you're going to want your leaf out. You're going to want to make sure you have a healthy amount of magic while trying to do this, because I have messed it up before because I didn't have enough magic. You're going to open this door, and Link will automatically turn around into the other room. Now the game thinks Link should be in the other room, so it unloads that current room, and then you drop about right here. Um, you need the leaf for this. And so after you're at this point, you're going to want to slowly back up, and as soon as you see Link fall, you're going to want to take the leaf out, or else he'll void. And then all you do is just sail into the basement. So there, if you don't have enough magic and he does get too low here, he does void. And you will just have to basically either try again or <laughs> I guess go find the boomerang or do the one with the bombs. But I don't know that one, to be honest. Um, I do this routing depending on if I've gotten the, depending on where the key is. If I get the small key, I just go through the dungeon like normal. But if I don't get the small key, I'll do this basement skip because odds are the small key's in here. Or it will be in here at that point. Or it's in double Mothula room. Which I'll check that last pretty frequently. So that is everything. And hope you enjoyed.